this week on Steel Horse Thunder. So, now, do your fruity drinks have to have an umbrella in it? Not necessarily, no. God, jackpot, dude. dude. So, 90 horsepower and 70 pounds of torque. And the top speed on this thing is wickedly high and as stable as can be. It's a tremendous step forward as far as sportsters go. Steel Horse is brought to you by Leydendorf Law with over 60 years experience in motorcycle and automotive injury cases. The month of August, we have been talking about something we want to do and that is promote local business. We are standing here in Trafalgar. Now, I know this place is just simply the crowbar. But it is now, it's the Crowbar Restaurant and Lounge? Restaurant and Lounge. All right. And it, it's pretty nice, isn't it? It's very nice. They have doors and everything out back. It's pretty cool. You got to check it out. You can open up the whole back side of this, this restaurant, basically. It's, a, it's just a super cool place. Again, month of August, we really want to promote local businesses. The Crowbar Restaurant and Lounge, it's, it's just a really nice establishment. It's been around forever. And uh, I think we should go in there, find Brian, the owner, and talk to him about some of these new improvements he's done, like this back bar. Yes, let's go. Hey, big shout out to Crambo's out in Greencastle. Man, if you're looking for paint work, mechanical work, or accessories, they have everything you need out in Greencastle. It's Crambo's. You know what they say, they'll get you noticed. All right, man, we are here. This is kind of a, kind of a weird thing here. We, we got the TV show here, but we're also here for Monday night, Facebook Live. And uh, I have Brian here, the owner of the Crowbar Restaurant and Lounge. Now, you got to remember, I, I remember this place when it first opened. I just know it as Crowbar. Yeah, it's Crowbar. Crowbar. Yeah, Crowbar. Crowbar. Yep. Crowbar is not Crowbar anymore. It is a totally different place than back, back when it first opened many, many years ago when I worked at the sawmill just up the road. Um, tell me a little bit about what you have done here. Well, we just kind of changed it up a little bit. Um, I, you know, the crowbars, like I said, it's been around for a long time, and and we went to a, went a different direction, um, more of an eatery because this town needed needed some good food, and you know the crowbars always offered good food, but I've kept a lot of people out because we were a smoking environment, and um, and, and you know, and, and I'm being a smoker, I get it, um, um, I we just went that direction that. We wanted to have a, you know, I think that non-smoking atmosphere it, it helped us go to a different level, you know, to bring, uh, to bring everybody in. You know, we're still not a kid-friendly place, and and we just don't have the space to be kid-friendly. Um, so we're definitely a 21 and over, and I, I will definitely keep it 21 and over. Uh, but you know, uh, it's the food that I concentrate on. You know, I think anybody can go get a cold beer anywhere, but you know, a good plate of food. It's hard sometimes in today's world. It's hard to come by, so we really work hard on a, a, a solid kitchen, and um, you know I, I surround myself with some with good people, and I think that's what makes the crowbar special. You know, we've got I got 37 people on staff, and and uh, you know we're just one big dysfunctional family here, and we we we're that's what we are, just one big family. We are here at the crowbar restaurant and lounge. Let me say the proper name. But we're here in Trafalgar. I know you guys are local around here, so I'm assuming you've been here a time or two. We've been here a lot. We used to do bike nights here, and we come here for dinner, lunch. Uh, let's go out, grab a bite, get on the bike, and just come here. Yeah, good food. So I was going to say, is it the food? Is it the atmosphere? Is it the servers? What is it? All of them. Yeah? All of them, yeah. It, everything's perfect. Food, drinks. Uh, my wife always asks for a fruity drink, and they just come up with something nice for her to drink. She loves it. So it's, mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. What kind of fruity drinks do you like? Anything fruity. I I will drink anything. Does it? Does it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I see how this. I see how this whole union happened right too here. Much information. <laughs> like too much for one. Hey, one. hey, right here, man, right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right, <laughs> no. So now, do your fruity drinks have to have an umbrella in it? Not necessarily. No. God, jackpot, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Jackpot. That's all I'm saying is jackpot. Oh man, but it, it is. I mean, so you've been coming out here for a while, right? Yes. Uh, we used to be part of a chapter that we used to do bike nights here. Great atmosphere. Uh, we try to bring the community together. And it's a great place. And you know, uh, I know he was going through some legal issues in the back building, and finally he opened it up, and we just come here and support him. Ever been here before? Oh, uh, about uh, yeah. Ever since it started, <laughs> ever about five or six times a week. All right, so obvi obviously it, it, the food is good enough to keep coming back, huh? Exactly. It is great food here. 
I mean, the tenderloins are great. Cheeseburgers are great. Pizzas are good. I mean, they're great too. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say, really, everything else is great, and the oh, pizza's pizza's great. good. But yeah. not yet. Well, somebody else said something about getting steak here and stuff like that. It's like Prime it's rib it's like honey. yeah, that's it's great. Hard. Yeah, it is great. You know, and the ribeyes, they're great also. Hey man, big shout out, Flat Out Motorsports. Been a sponsor on the show for quite a few years now. If you're looking for Indian, if you're looking for on street, off road, if you're looking for something in the water, they got it all there at Flat Out Motorsports. You'll be like a kid in the candy shop. I'm telling you what, it's one of my favorite places to walk around. We're back in the back bar right now. We're not even in. I mean, you do have a full restaurant right on the other side of this wall over here. And now you have a whole back bar. You've got all these little uh, garage doors that open up, and and it's like this is a super cool atmosphere you got back here. Yeah, we uh, yeah, that was my vision. You know, I wanted to have a patio, and this started out to be a patio without a roof. And I'm thinking, you know what, well, we're only going to be able to enjoy this for th four or five months. And I said, you know, let's keep them out of the rain. And then during the cold weather, you guys remember in the day it was gravel back here, and and uh, now we we've yeah we made some nice changes, and I'm I'm excited to be where we're at. And, yeah. Most definitely, and yeah, and we're talking about the fact that, um, you know, you really have concentrated on the food part and the restaurant part and all that. It's it's non-smoking now, um, but it's still biker friendly. It's still you guys still have rides coming in and out of here on the on the weekends, yeah. do you not? We uh, every weekend. I mean, we're pretty much we have a benefit ride almost every weekend, and yeah, we're definitely biker friendly, and we'll never get away from that. I mean, that's what made the crow bar special, and and. Uh, you know, like I said, I went a different, some different directions just to, to make it a little better. Yeah, I've been coming here ever since uh, Brian's dad opened the place up. I can't remember what year it is. It's been, oh shoot, probably 15, 20 years, something like that. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a long while. Yeah, but, well, I haven't even been in the sawmill for 10 years, so yeah. I, I'm going to say it was even longer. Probably. Well, when he bought, he bought the place, uh, he went over here. There was a bar over here called The One and Only. He came to the auction and bought the equipment. And they found out he couldn't put the equipment in the building any longer. So he came over here and bought this building to put the equipment in and started to borrow over here in this building. <laughs> and this building's had history like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Been a, it's been a, uh, what they call a truck stop back in the day. Uh, it's been a restaurant, pool hall, uh, auction house, grocery store. And before it ended, finally Ed's dad turned it into a bar. I got a funny feeling it's going to stay a bar and a, and a restaurant and bar now. Yes, it, it's pretty established at this point. Yes, it is, and it will be forever. Yeah. Hey man, Leydendorf Law, personal injury lawyer. I tell you, Leydendorf Law has been a part of this show, a major part of this show for 20 years. Thank you so much, Leydendorf Law, for what you've done for Steel Horse Thunder and all the riders. You know, this is one of the great things about my job. I get to ride these new motorcycles now. This is, this is as far as I know, this is brand new at, uh, from Harley-Davidson, the 975 Nightster. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously a lot smaller of a bike than I'm used to riding, but it's badass looking. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Motor-wise, it looks like what was on the adventure bike I got to ride a year or so ago. Smaller version. Yeah, I mean, it's got nice lines. It's, it, it looks good. It's got, you know, big old cannon for exhaust over here. It's, I mean, it's... I like the little cafe style, little fair in there. So I think we take it for a ride, see how we like it. And uh, this is gonna be one of those bikes that's gonna be fun to play on, okay? I'm not expecting to hop on this and take it down the interstate highway to California. I'm thinking this is gonna be a lot of fun in the curves. Thank you. 
It is a little rocket ship, that is for sure. It, it, it likes to go fast. It's pretty freaking cool. Uh, very surprised on the highway. I thought with being such a light motorcycle, I was gonna be a little nervous on the highway Pro with it and absolutely no problem whatsoever. I, it, it, this thing handles itself, it, it's fast. This is one of the cool things. I mean, I love you guys here at Southside Harley-Davidson in Indianapolis. It's, you guys allow me to come out and ride these new bikes and stuff. Um, tell me exactly what this is called. It's the Nightster, if I'm not mistaken, but tell me, tell me about this bike because it's fast as crap. <laughs> yes, I know that. I know that. So if you're familiar with the Pan America, which we did a little highlight on a year ago, mm -hmm. This is going to be the downsized version of that, the 975 version of that. Okay. So you're still talking four valve, variable valve timing, um, three ride modes, which you, I told you to play with two of those when you test rode it. Um, the third ride mode, which is going to make the bike a fantastic starter bike, is rain mode because you're going to eliminate some of that horsepower torque getting to the ground. You're going to soften the ABS mechanism so you're not going to lock things up. Uh, it's really interesting if a person hasn't rode these bikes in the rain what the rain mode actually does in the motorcycles I know the big bikes have it too but it's really noticeable when you've got a 90 horsepower motorcycle like this little bike is and you can get this thing to be 50 60 horse getting to the ground really soft application the bike is just incredible if you think about basically what it's going to replace is the 883 iron but we're talking about a bike that's 100 pounds lighter than that, that makes almost twice as much horsepower as that when you're in sport mode, so 90 horsepower and 70 pounds of torque. And the top speed on this thing is wickedly high and as stable as can be. It's a tremendous step forward as far as sportsters go. Well, and I, I will touch on that because when I took this out, I took it on the interstate just so I could see what it was like in highway mode and go and dude, I was 75, 80 miles an hour like that, and it was smooth. I mean, it was smooth, I, and, I, and that was my concern was, man, it's a little bike, I'm gonna feel bike like racing. I'm getting pushed around all over the place out here on the highway, and it wasn't that, that way at all. I wasn't, I, I thought, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a little nerve wracking being on a little bike, and that's not the case at all. And again, it's, when I say little bike, it is, it's very lightweight, you know what I'm saying? It's a lightweight bike, but yet, the so, speed is just, just ridiculous on it. Yeah, it's, um it's like I say, it's one of those things going to surprise people that uh, you've got a bike that is light like this, that has this much capability to run at highway speeds. The fact that it's a six speed, right? The old, old, old Sportsters were five speed bikes. And I don't, I, there's no magic to this. They're not happy doing 75, 80 miles an hour. You've got seismic vibration going through that big twin. Right. This bike is smooth, man. It doesn't care about 85 miles an hour. It just doesn't. And, and it's got a wicked top speed. It's really something. Well, I mean, I loved it. I loved riding it. It, it reminded me, um, you know, I, I think I mentioned it while I'm riding is, you know, if you like the old cafe racer style bikes, that's what it reminds me of. You know, it reminds me almost of the old Buells. Yes. I know they had like a city street that was that was kind of more compact. And it was just to me, it reminded me of that only because of you can come up to a red light, you coming up to a stop and you come to a complete stop before your feet ever go to the ground. You know what I'm saying? It's, the balance is so perfect on it. And that's what it kind of reminded me of. And it's like I said, if you like the old cafe racer styles, man, you're going to love this right here. Yeah, it's uh, they've done such a good job. You talked about balance. So most people aren't going to realize that this is actually an airbox cover up here. And that kind of going back to the V-Rod days, okay. there's a 3.3 gallon tank under the seat here. So you put that mass centralization of weight really low on the bike, yes. and it causes the bike to stay nice and nice and neutral under you. Again, this bike with this motor design allows them to make the motor a stress member of the frame, so it's rigid, it's light, it's nimble, and you don't have a lot of frame work to worry about. You know, yeah. frames frames are heavy; they make weight. Yes. So it's uh, it's. I mean, it's a big step forward. I know there's a. There'll be a lot of people that maybe aren't thrilled with the as fast as this modernization might be happening, but it's also it can't be really helped. You know, you've got to have a bike you can sell in Europe in this in this size motorcycle. It hardly desperately needs a bike that they can put in flat track, and this motor is going to allow them to get right up against the Indians that are dominating flat track. Yeah. So it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. You know, and I'll be honest, it was kind of neat when Indian came back and they and they were doing good it's like good i i want to see a good healthy competition but then it just got it yeah, got like way lopsided and i was like yeah. all right crap we got to get harley back in here now so if you want to you make your way to Southside harley davidson and uh, see if you can't take one of these out for a demo ride 
got to have a motorcycle endorsement. Don't come showing up here in shorts and flip-flops and no no endorsement and think you're going to hop on a motorcycle. That's not going to happen. Um, well, Mike, thank you so much for talking to me about this. And uh, I, I like it. And yes, you know, old school bikers don't like the new stuff. And all I say is there's still old school stuff too. Sure. You don't have to. If you don't like the style bike, guess what? Don't buy the style bike. Right. You can still buy a street glide. You can still buy there's all the all the other a stuff. Lot of big twin bikes, yeah. um, and this is supposed to be. This is going to be a starter bike with a starter bike with a lot more legs under it than an old Sportster would have had. Oh, yeah. I mean, you've got a lot a lot going on here that's going to allow you to own this bike and really enjoy it. Yeah. So. All right. Well, Mike, thank you so much. No problem, Scott. Thank you. <laughs>